Rex Grossman talks about Kirk Cousins and Georgia and going deep. Sometimes you don't know which ex-Redskins quarterback you really need to hear from until you actually hear from him. Like this week. On Monday, we heard from both Kirk Cousins and Robert Griffin III, two of the seminal players from the past decade of DC sports history. Then on Thursday, a heap of context arrived courtesy Rex Grossman, who appeared on ESPN 980, flinging insight into Cousins, Griffin, the Shanahans, and Rex Grossman. It was 19 minutes of going deep, and it was pretty great. Listen to it here, but let me provide many of the highlights. On Kirk Cousins' contract status with the Redskins. Well, I think Kirk is a top 10 quarterback in the NFL, Grossman said. And those are hard to find. So I think he's worth every penny. I find it hard to believe that they didn't offer him something he would take. I don't really know the backstory of it too much. I just know that I'm proud of him for sticking to his guns and not taking some little incentive-laden deal that they probably tried to shove down his throat. He said no. And it worked out for him. So he's gotten paid, plenty. And he's probably gonna hit free agency and make a ton of money, so I'm proud of him. On Cousins being a top 10 quarterback. I think that he's got a really strong arm, he's accurate, and is an extremely disciplined person. Grossman said. The person he is is what makes him a great player. He's calm, disciplined, accurate and he's a pretty damn good athlete too. So he does everything really well, and a few things exceptionally well. Players enjoy playing around him. He's smart. He's writing there in the top 10 quarterback range, I'm not sure where, but I think he's established that. I know I could pick 20 worse quarterbacks. On the criticism that Cousins is too conservative in his playing style. What I learned is you are who you are, Grossman said. I think that's developed in how you're born and how you play all sports. I think it's drilled into you as a person, and then it reflects how you play. So I don't know if he can change that. I think he is who he is, and he's a really good disciplined accurate quarterback, and he should embrace that and keep his strength a strength and not try to run around and be Brett Favor if he's not. He used to always tell me that he idolized Matt Hasselbeck, and I was always like what? I mean, Matt Hasselbeck was a good player and everything, but I'm not sure he's got any posters on people's walls. But, Cousins, enjoyed the journey that Matt Hasselbeck took to become a good NFL quarterback, and the style of play he said that matched his. He knows who he is. Stephen A. Smith is right, the Redskins are kind of blah. On his own personality and yes please pump this straight into my veins. Sometimes I have to go with my instinct, and my instinct is sometimes wrong, Grossman said. But throughout my career I was always allowed to change the play whenever I wanted to based on the coverage. I was allowed to kind of be myself and go deep. I was encouraged to make sure you don't miss the big plays. Coach Spurrier instilled in me, don't check it down if the big play's there. So that's kind of how I was born. I always wanted to shoot a three-pointer in basketball, hit a home run in baseball. I don't know why, that's just, like, who I am. It goes off into blackjack as well. I'll try to have a betting strategy where I'll just bet two chips and then win, bet three, bet five, bet seven and keep it out there until you lose. But you know. Sometimes you've got a gut feeling, and you put all the chips on the table. On going deep yes more more more. I tried throughout my career a lot of times to be Charlie check down and try to only go for it if it's right there, Grossman said. But to be honest with you, a lot of times I couldn't see. I'm not the tallest quarterback, sometimes you have to kind of have a little bit of faith that everything's working out as you think it is. And in those moments you kind of have to make up your mind, is it worth it? And sometimes you are wrong. But a lot of times you are right. It got me to the league, and I played 11 years, so I think it works out a little bit. On his competition with John Beck during the lockout offseason. All I could go on was Adam Sefter's reports, Grossman said. And he kept saying John Beck's probably going to start, and it just pissed me off to no end. I really honestly believed they were gonna try to give him a chance to play. They kept saying they really liked his college highlight tape. And I was like what? 
You liked his college highlight tape? I kept jabbing them a little bit, like let me put my college highlight tape on. On why Robert Griffin III is no longer in the NFL. I think that the number one reason is that general manager